Hi everyone, Donut here. How's your week going? How did Valentine's Day go for you? Did you take the love of your life to the fine dining establishment Olive Garden? Because you should have. Oh my God, we got quite the shooting today. We're like 10 police officers completely eviscerate a guy who had just killed a sheriff's deputy in California. The suspect really thought he could get away with it, but I, I don't know what the f*** he was thinking. But first, a word from our sponsor, DillDash. DillDash is an auction website that's been around for about 10 years now, and it's super easy how it works. You go to dildash.com slash donut operator, you buy some bids, they're going for 15 cents right now, you click on something you want, and if the time runs out and you're the highest bidder, you get that thing. This is an auction website, so you might win something and you might not win anything. What they got going on today? A boat, a bigger boat, a gaming chair for $2.78 bid, categories, hobbies, toys, outdoors, a jet ski for $484 bid, cars, ooh, man, that's a nice truck right there, alert me. You might win, you might not, but if you're in auctions, you're gonna have some fun doing this. And if you don't like it, there's a 90 day money back guarantee on your first bid pack purchase. Dildash.com slash donut operator. Let's watch some shooties. Riverside County Sheriff's Department, Chad Bianco. He's the sheriff of Riverside County and Lord have mercy. With a mustache like that, your name better be Chad. December 29th, 2022. Video was just released the other day of the end of a manhunt for a suspect who was wanted for the murder of a deputy earlier that day. One of Chad's deputies. What had happened was deputy Isaiah Cordero had pulled over our dirtbag suspect about two hours before 10 officers Swiss cheesed him into the Nether. Dirtbag had a long felonious criminal history, including pretty serious charges like kidnapping, armed robbery, and stabbing a police canine. And we all know anyone who stabs a dog should jump feet first into the wood chipper. So don't feel bad about what happens at the end of this video. Wait, did I just name off three felonies? Doesn't California have a three strike law where if you get that third felony, you spend a couple decades in prison? The whole three strikes you're out thing that they're known for that keeps the citizens of California safe? Oh wait, California is that hole that has some of the softest judges in our entire country who actively contribute to the revolving door of disposable human beings that plague their state by simply existing. Let's cut back to the final ball of the Riverside Sheriff's Department, Chad. He stated in a press conference earlier this month about the death of his deputy, the tragedy should have been prevented by the criminal justice system, Bianco said. The suspect was on his third strike in 2021, but instead of receiving a sentence of 25 years to life in a state prison, a judge lowered his bail. He failed to appear for sentencing and the same judge released him again. We would not be here today if this judge had done her job. San Bernardino County Superior Court documents show that the judge was Kara D. Hudson. She was re-elected to the bench in June and has been a judicial officer since 2007. That's right, she let him out on his third strike and then he didn't show up to court and she let him out again and then he showed up to court and then she let him out again. Let me go ahead and thank my sponsor, Dildash, again. Because of them, I was able to donate $5,000 to the Riverside County Deputy Relief Foundation. This is definitely one of those reoccurring things that we keep seeing where soft judges f***ed up the lives of of multiple people. Speaking of, remember the video I did last year, uh, about seven months ago, called Guy Runs Over Baby, Sentenced to Summer Camp. The incident that took place in LA, where exactly like the title says, some dude maliciously ran over a mom pushing her baby in a stroller, and then the judge sentenced him to summer camp, despite him being on probation already for trying to roofie a young girl. Well, in recent news, that suspect was just gunned down two weeks ago. Oh no. Anyways, back to our original incident. The late Deputy Isaiah Cordero was doing some, some good old fashioned basic motorcycle patrolling when he spotted a black truck. He didn't state what was wrong with the black truck, but he had reason enough to pull it over on January 29th. So he gets off his bike and he walks up to this black truck and the three time felon pulls out a gun and kills him. Didn't even have time to react. The deputy didn't even get a chance to fire his gun. That felonious piece of shit was waiting on him. Police lost track of the suspect for a couple of hours, then a Beaumont police officer spotted him going north on Interstate 15 near Rancho Cucamonga, California. I might be butchering the pronunciation of that, as I do everything else. Well, I can't say Rancho Cucamonga. They don't know what that is. They're from Sweden. They're not going to know. <laughs> Swedes well, don't yeah. know anything. And guess what? The guy refused to stop for officers. I wonder why. John. Hi. 
According to Mustache Chad, after a short chase, the suspect's vehicle came to a stop after a mechanical failure. Mechanical failure meaning his truck got pitted by a f***ing bearcat like twice. Every police officer in the state of California gets behind this douchebag and he figures he can get away for whatever reason. Exit Old East Second Street. Crossing under the bridge on 6, approaching 2nd. Bearcat 3 is close. If you don't know what a Bearcat is, here's a Bearcat. They're armored vehicles with gun ports and rotating top turrets that can fit an entire SWAT team inside. These are the things that defund the police idiots will call tanks. They're not tanks, they're actually very useful in situations where there's not guns or bullets involved. They save a lot of people in floods. But I think they're cool as f and they've saved many lives with guns or without guns. And what's funny about this one, the best breakdown I've seen of a Bearcat is on Jay Leno's channel. Jay Leno and an LAPD cop do a great throw breakdown of, of a bear cat. It's pretty neat. Hey, Mamus, bring me some, uh, bring me some motor oil, eh? The regular patrol cars are kind of hanging back so the armored vehicle can stop the guy. The bear cat rams the ah. shit out of the suspect one time, but it doesn't quite do the job. Then the Bearcat gets stuck into the wall for a couple seconds, but not for long. He's down, but not out. He comes right back. The Bearcat pins the dude against the wall, making sure there is no more running. Mechanical failure, as the sheriff says. Hey, Chad, let me buy that Bearcat operator a f***ing beer. That was some Leroy Jenkins driving if I've ever seen it. And for good reason, though. I gotta say, that would be fun as f*** to chase down a suspect in a Bearcat and pit him. You're not gonna get hurt at all in that Bearcat. That person, though, that just killed the cop, there's no telling. So hit him as hard as you can. As soon as our suspect gets pinned into the wall, that's when the party starts. So let's take a look at the several officers who made sure this dude left our mortal plane. Officer 1, service pistol. Officer 2, wearing blue jeans and has a suppressed rifle, definitely a jump out boy. Officer 3, shotgun. Officer 4, service pistol. Officer 5, service pistol. He's still in there, he ain't happy. I haven't seen that many officers unload on the same person since those Tennessee cops and Megan Hall. Somehow the suspect died. Oh no. You know the Bearcat boys the whole time were like, you know, maybe we shouldn't get out of the Bearcat right now. We're gonna stay right here. These things are built for that, right? As I said earlier, guys, this whole thing started because a deputy got killed. I'm gonna leave a link to their foundation below. So if you wanna help any of the families in that area go through this process, then by all means, give a little money. Let me know what you think in the comments below about how the officers handled this situation. Could anything have been handled better? Should they have shot him a hundred more times? Yeah. Should they have shot him less? No. If you want to help support the channel, donutoperator.com. And until next time, everyone, please have a fantastic day. Bye.